I keep trying to force the gate open. I'm not sure if it's working, but I have to trust Rallis' instincts. How is he able to feel all this? He does have a lot of power to be a hero, so he must be that powerful. I glance over at Rallis making his way to that place. It's only been five minutes since I've tried to force this gate open. I watch him go. I don't want him to go alone. Are you okay? Well, I'm just worried about Rallis, uh, but I know I have to open this gate. But if something happens to him, I don't know if I can take it. You're confused, but we have to open this gate. I know. I keep glancing at Rallis, but the further he goes, the more I worry. He might disappear if that thing is dangerous. Okay, Pigu. You look so worried. Why are you like this? You've been looking at him like that ever since we got thrown in here. It's like... It's like you're... You like him, right? Oh, cut... This is not the point to bring him out. He's might be about to die being drawn to something we know nothing about. And now Siren decides to bring up... Oh, hang on a minute. You... You fancy him, don't you? <laughs> like... Ugh. Oh, um, well... I'm s I didn't mean to say that. Sorry. Sorry, I, I don't know what I'm babbling about. I can't. No, it's okay. The star plane heightens everything, and I... Then it's true? Well... Yes. Uh, status? Still the same. Bastard. <laughs> I won't hide it. But yeah, I do like him. Wow. Um, please just don't tell him that. Huh? Why? Is it one-sided? Oops. I didn't mean to... Um, I'm not sure. I haven't thought too far ahead or reflected on this that much. I always thought you'd be with Kion or Callum. What? You did? Yeah, I don't trust anyone else. But Raleigh said he'll protect me. I don't mind you liking him. Siren, I... I don't know how to tell you this, mate. Look, just uh, between Tenorium and Siren here. You're useless. Okay? <laughs> we said this the whole part through the game. We're on part, what, 43? I have no idea what Siren's contributed to this plot so far. He's useless. I don't care whether you mind or don't mind. It's going to happen, right? It's going to be, what's it, up to my guts and nuts. That's what we're going to be doing later. See? See? Probably not. I'm probably a virgin. But that beside, that's what's going to happen. <clears throat> Uh, yeah, please ignore me. My cheeks got hotter. His thoughts heighten in here, but is that enough to make him blurt things like that out? It's just no one really says they'll protect me, so I think Rallis is nice. So you two can um, do whatever. It's okay with me. So he accepts Rallis. It means that he doesn't just doesn't trust people outside our circle easily. I'm sorry for embarrassing you. Oh, stop it. Sorry. It's okay. I'm here. Oh, you did come back. I am slightly surprised. You're back. Yeah, I heard you two shout, so I rushed back. Did something happen? Nothing happened. Nothing is wrong. Then why were you two yelling? It, 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 nothing. Yeah, sorry, I didn't mean to ask Ogi Piku such a question when it was obvious. What's obvious? Well, that she likes you. Huh? What did you say? Siren! Sorry, I didn't mean to blurt that out. Hmm. Hmm. <clears throat> Calm down. Don't let your emotions take over. Calm down. Sorry, and uh, Siren and I were just worried about you, so we kind of started yelling. It seems we let the star plane take over our emotions, so we just started to yell. I see, so nothing bad happened. Nothing bad happened? We let the stars take over... <sighs> Whatever. I see, so nothing bad happened. I'm going back. <laughs> going to go back and investigate that strange thing. Man, we made Rallis rush back. I should have come up with some excuse in case he got mad. Uh, yeah... I understand. Anyway, I'll go back. Hmm, it seems our voice echoed all the way over there. This place doesn't have the same properties as our world, so I guess. Can you try opening the gate again? I want to feel the reaction. Okay. I forced the gate to open again. How strange. What is strange? As I got closer to that weird magic that appeared, I noticed something weird. It feels sort of like the energy from your gem. Huh? What? As I got closer, the energy I felt from that place was familiar. <clears throat> I didn't think it was possible. I was confused, but the faint energy from your gem feels familiar. I cock my head to the side. I don't get it. What does this mean? I have no idea. <clears throat> Come to think of it, the phoenix admitted a similar energy to your gem. The power in my gem was originally the phoenix's. It just got transformed. Oh, yeah, I kind of forgot the stuff you told me. 
I locked so much information that it is hard to remember everything. If that energy over there is similar to your gem, could it be that the phoenix is there? Maybe. Then does that mean the others are really there? Maybe. Then we can all get out together? Yeah, the only problem now is to wait for the gate to open. That's great, but what if the energy isn't the phoenix's and the others aren't there? <sighs> the energy over there doesn't look like the phoenix's power. We'll have to check it out ourselves. I'll come to in case I have to use my strings to save everyone. We're not leaving you here on your own. If you did die, it wouldn't matter, but, you know, it's the same implies. The feeling is similar. I'm sure it's the phoenix. He's looking smug. I don't like it. But the power there doesn't show any fire. Maybe the phoenix is there and the power is just one of the others signalling to us. But who is using that power? Is it Alexander? Is it Callum? Alexander doesn't use magic like that, isn't it, Keones? Then maybe it's someone's secret power that they didn't show until now. Yeah, it has to be them, because if it isn't, then what do we do? Well, we have no other leads and we can't ignore this possible signals from the other, especially if they need our help. What's going on? Yeah, that's bad. I... I'd run. Why are we all still standing here? Could it be an enemy? Who's there? That... this voice, it's... It's a woman's voice. It sounds very ghost-like and full of hate. Who's there? What do we do? Should we answer? Identify yourselves. Did you take away my ruin, knight? Whoa. A blast of power hits us. The haunting white power paralyzes me as though the ghost decided to possess me. Did you take away my ruin, knight? Ruin knight? What and who is that? Where is my ruin knight? More power hits us, and I try to speak, but nothing comes out. The others open their mouths, but they can't say a thing. If this keeps up, what will happen? Where is my ruin knight? I won't... I won't let this continue. Rallis is able to withstand the power somehow. Please listen to us. You... Your power feels familiar, a little like... Ugh! You're all intruders. I will not show mercy to you evil ones! More power hits us. I try to withstand it, but I end up falling to my knees. I can feel a chill spreading inside me. I can barely move, I can barely speak. What's gonna happen to us? Stop, we're not your enemy. Lies. Stop it, if you don't, I'll have to fight you. Then I will send my ruin knights after you. No, I won't let you. I get blasted again and I roll on the ground. Okay, Pigu. ah! Siren! Rallis is the only one who is able to keep his footing, but I know it won't last. I have no mercy on intruders. They're not intruders, especially Ogre, because she is innocent and she's very special to me. As a hero, I won't let you hurt them. I'll protect them all. Hero? If I can't protect Ogre Pigu, then I can't protect anyone. Then there's no point of being a hero. The energy that surrounds me, and I can't take it. I black out. Yeah, when someone explodes something like that, that's always a bad thing. Rallis is appearing there. That probably confirms we're on his path. How many chapters are there? Eight or nine? I never remember. What happened? Did I make it out? Okay, Piggy, I'm so sorry. Alexander? Yellow question marks. Ah! It's so bright, I shield my eyes, but I can't make out anything. Where am I? What happened? Did that entity do this? Am I dead? Okay, Piggy? Rallis, where are you? Oh, okay. The chapter name, just remember, was Dreams of Ruin. This probably isn't actually happening. Oggy Piggy, what's going on? He sounds like he's in a trance. Rallis, you're okay. I clutch onto him in case we get separated. Huh? I don't know what's going on. Where are we? And Are we safe? And where is Siren? I'm not sure. I was unconscious for a bit, so this is what I woke up to. I, um, what is it? I didn't notice what was going on until I heard your voice. Not knowing what's going on may kill us. I keep looking up, down, left and right, but don't see anything except light. Calm down, I think this is the same light I was in when I heard your voice last time. Huh? The same light? Rallis was travelling in some ball of light when I was alone before. This is that same light? It disappeared right after I heard your voice. Last time, but this time, the light won't go away. I can't get it to disappear. What is the difference in the power now from last time? Last time he wasn't aware he was in it. I don't know, but if it's like other times... Oh, no, please don't get out of control. If it's like last time, I'll consume whoever's by me. I'll kill them again. 
He was hiding the fact that he knows what this strange power is. The surprise he gave us during the Phoenix detection of his power was just an act. I, I'm sorry, I can't control it. I never wanted anything to get out of control. I never wanted the others to know of this. This power I was born with is a curse. It's going to consume you. I don't know his full history, but I gotta say something. What should I do? Uh, whatever you were born with can't be bad. Try to control it before we both get consumed. I both of these. Uh, mm, uh, eh. One's practical, one's silly. I think the silly one might be the right one, though. Let's go with the top one. Just because I feel I can. It's a curse. My power has always been difficult to control. This is why I had to use a gun to control it. It converts my energy into beams. And this is why my energy beams are the strongest, but now it's out of control again. I'm worried you will die because of it. When I first saw you move in that orb of light, I was confused. But when I saw you, I didn't think it was a bad power. All I know is that I don't understand it. You used your power for good and aimed to become a hero, right? This supposedly cursed power gave you the status of a hero, and you are loved by so many people. It did help me move forward when others had little chance. Yeah, it's not a bad power. When you control it again, everything will be fine. It, it's still not disappearing. Maybe you should take your time. I'm blinded for now, but I don't feel, feel like I'm getting consumed. My power isn't affecting you in any way. Just little note, I'm weird. Just, just pointing that out. No, maybe I panicked a little when I first thought about this. It's because the entity just attacked us and Siren's gone, but then the light is here. But now I can finally absorb everything. I can confirm that the light is blinding, but it isn't taking over me or hurting me. I thought you were getting hurt by it. That's wh why I tried so hard to get rid of this power. If you want, then I don't have to worry too much. But what if Siren is? He should be okay. We must believe that. Did you panic because you thought you were hurting me? Yes. I keep looking around just in case Siren's around. Siren might be in a trance somewhere around here. You and I were also in one until we found each other. Yeah, to be fair, I did think about Siren, but then I sort of crossed my fingers once I found out that it's consuming everything. And, you know, you never know. He might just go and everything will be fine again. Yes, I had no control of my thoughts until I saw you. I see to get out of here. I think you should tell me everything about this curse. I must tell you everything? Yes, please trust me. I don't think it's a good idea. Oh god, are we going to go for another exposition dump? <laughs> I, I don't think he needs to explain much, does he? Why not? Do you think I'll hate you? I never see your power as a bad thing until you said it's bad. It won't help if I tell you. You already told me a little, so why are you resisting? Is it painful? No, it's just that people usually don't talk about this because... Okay, Piggy, I never tell anyone because it's easy for people to judge us. What do you mean? I never even told you my partner, Alexander. I, I never even told my partner, sorry, Alexander. So if I tell you, you'll... You might shun me because I'm from the most disgusting place in this world. Disgusting place? You already know that there's something strange about me and if it'll help us get out of here, I'll tell you. Have you heard of the curse from Gortsis? Nope, but I have a feeling you're about to tell me. In my time, Gortsis was an impoverished, lawless town. Anyone who visited may have been robbed or even killed. Some called the people there the scum of the world. Exiles from my time were sent there. It had a reputation of being hateful and causing trouble. When something happened, people kept their eyes in Gorsis, even if there was no proof. I've never been there, but I've heard in his impoverished town no one ever wants to visit. Your description of it is too kind. You do know the real reputation of the place, right? Yes, the worst sorts of people supposedly live and come from there. They may do anything for money, so sometimes people hired them to cause trouble in Razaleth. Those hired sometimes resorted to inhumane tactics and sometimes risked their lives for such pay. Because of things like that, the whole town is smeared with the same brush. Uh, so you are from Gortsis? Yes, but please don't tell anyone. You understand, right? Because people are really judgmental. You're a hero. I think at this point, you've gone out of your way to prove that chances are you're not like that. <sighs> yes, but please know that you are nothing like what I described. Since you know of my hometown's reputation, have you heard of this curse? I heard of the rumour, but I never paid much attention to it. 
once you see this particular dream, it means you're cursed. I don't know the details, but I wonder how real this is. Everyone in Gortis has a similar recurring dream. All of us dream of this princess of ruin cursing the land. And all of us who see her will forever live a life of ruin. Everyone who dreams of her? Are you sure? Everyone I asked said they saw her. Some believe she is the reason the people of Gortis suffer. Right. There are people afraid of having the curse pass on to them, so they never visit Gorsis, nor want to interact with anyone there. We believe she is real, she is cursing us from somewhere. Sadly, everyone in my hometown is poor. They have nowhere to go, so they have little to almost nothing. Outsiders who get lost and end up in Gorsis will be robbed even of the very clothes they have on. And if you meet the wrong people, you can end up dead. I also had nothing, so yes, I also robbed those who ended up in my hometown by accident. Uh, but I didn't want that to be my fate forever, I wanted to change that fate for everyone and for me. When I was younger, I believed everything was possible, but everyone told me it wasn't. But I wouldn't believe them, it's because I felt I was blessed with this strange power. It's because few can use magic without training, I wanted to believe I was the chosen one. People kept telling me to give up. No one in Gortis achieves anything. They're unable to do anything. But I didn't want to give up. I must have been given this power for a reason. That's what motivated me to keep going. I paid attention to the dreams and tried to decipher them. What do I do to break the curse on Gortis? I asked around for a way to break the curse. No one could answer me. I kept asking, telling them I'll stop this curse. I wanted to meet the princess and stop her. In the dreams, the Princess of Ruin would curse us, hate us, and want us to die. She would also tell me to protect her. She would tell me to protect her and her child, and if there are any intruders, I'd have to kill them. She's also looking for a hero, a hero who will rise above everything, protect her, and save her child. What happened to her child? Her child is in the hands of evil, that's all I know. And because she hates evil so much, she curses the land into ruin. Many who live in Gortis cannot escape the poverty belief. She's the reason for their misery, and we can't do anything about it. No one outside of our town wants to help us, and many are afraid to catch the curse from us. Has anyone ever tried to rebuild there? There aren't any resources, no one helps, and even if people try, everything crumbles. It's a cursed land. You are from the past, so you probably don't know how Azarea came to be now known as the Blessed Land. I hadn't been outside of Razalith before, so... I, I don't know. Azarea in the past was never that green. The forest just outside it was harsh, but it isn't anymore. It's very safe. It only happened when the legendary heroes blessed it. They are like divine beings. If I become one of them, I can bless and remove the curse from Gorsis. So that's why he thought about risking his life to become one? Everything in my hometown knew about me eventually. They saw me as the flicker of hope. I felt their eyes on me and I couldn't let them down. I truly believed I was chosen for a higher purpose, but I couldn't advance until I was able to control this power. Then I got lucky. Someone in Gortis robbed a lost traveler and gave me the gun and asked me to continue. These contraptions, these guns were created after the legendary heroes defeated the Dark Kingdom 50 years ago. They gave me the Florel family knowledge and their knowledge allowed them to create things that harness magical energy. Those who have high energy levels can use this gear to concentrate their energy into one blast. I don't like how I received this gun, but I couldn't let this chance get away. I must break the curse from Gortsis. I must become someone of great importance. I must prove that someone in Gortsis can achieve the greatest title of the world. But until I become a true hero and remove the curse from my home, I am not a real hero yet. The legends say that heroes are the greatest people in the world, and the power they hold and the love they receive is great. I must keep going, even after the Phoenix told me the truth about legendary heroes. My power is a blessing, it's not a curse, but as you can see it gets uncontrollable in times like this. This gun is supposed to fix it. The stars must have interfered. I see where his motivation comes from, the desire to save his people. That belief of being a chosen one must have been his own flicker of hope. If anything, it is rather noble.